Hello, hey guys, this is Gloria. I am going to show you a little bit about the Mongolian language. I am going to show you a little bit about the Mongolian language. I am going to show you a little bit about the Mongolian language. Hey guys, good day. So, as you can see, I am in my Mongolian dress today. And I said um, I'm from Tarhumu Miangun Hadwatu Show Bauto, Inner Mongolia. And in this video, I want to introduce Inner Mongolia briefly to you guys um, and answer some questions like um, where is this Inner Mongolia? Or is there an Outer Mongolia if there is an Inner Mongolia? Or um, do you speak Mongolian? Or can you speak Mandarin? Blah blah blah. And I guess you just heard it, I was saying Mongolian in the very beginning of this video and as for Chinese, I will interpret or uh, give a brief conclusion about this video in the very end of this video into Chinese. Um, so um, here we go. So I've noticed that there are a lot of people uh, that don't have an idea of the difference between Inner Mongolia and Mongolia or there are a lot of people even don't know the existence of Inner Mongolia. It seems like Inner Mongolia is invisible, you know. Um, why I say this is because there was this one time when I was having dinner, dinner sorry, uh, with one of my foreign friends and he asked me, so are you going back to your country during the holiday? And I was like, what country? He said, Mongolia, of course. And then I have to explain to him for my bazillion time that I'm not going anywhere, I'm home, you know. I speak Mongolian, but I'm Chinese, I'm from China, uh, I'm from Inner Mongolia, you know. Inner Mongolia is a part of China. Inner Mongolia is an autonomous region of China. So um, let's go back to our topic. Where the hell is this Inner Mongolia? Inner Mongolia, or name Mongol, is located in the northmost part of China. It is an autonomous region of China. Um, it shares borders with Russia and Mongolia. Um, it is called Urmongding Urton Zasaharum in Mongolian and um, Inner Mongolia, autonomous region officially in English. Um, there are a bunch of ethnic groups in Inner Mongolia. Um, according to Wikipedia, um, the, the largest population is Han Chinese people comprising 79% of the population and the second largest group is Mongolian or Mongols comprising 17% of the population. Our official languages are Mongolian and Chinese. Um, therefore, there are a lot of inner Mongols, they are bilingual, they can speak Mongolian and Chinese at the same time. Um, by law, all the street signs or commercial outlets or government documents uh, must be written in bilingual, must be written in both Mongolian and Chinese. Okay, so uh, let's come back to another question. Is there an outer Mongolia if there is an inner Mongolia? And the answer is definitely yes. Outer Mongolia is now the Mongolia, the country Mongolia. Um, according to Wikipedia, I did some research. Um, Inner Mongolia is distinct from Outer Mongolia, which was a term used by the Republic of China and the previous governments to refer to what is now the independent state of Mongolia. Okay, so far I guess um, you guys are maybe wondering um, how the Mongolian words are written. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> I'm gonna take pictures of you too. <laughs> See, it's pretty similar, don't you think? Uh, one more time, one more time. Kind of goes down there, and then you've got a bit there. Yeah. Um, and then like this, like this, like this. <laughs> it's cute. Like this. Yeah. Yes. Teeth. Those teeth of writing. He's drawing. Yeah, I agree. Okay. I oh, this. you give up. <laughs> Mm, yeah. Butterfly, come on. Oh, do, do you two the struggling oh. with, the, with that certain? Oh, come on, you forgot something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good. Or what is the difference, like exactly, between Inner Mongolia and Mongolia? Um, so basically, just like I mentioned before, Inner Mongolia is an autonomous region of China and Mongolia, or Outer Mongolia if you like, um, is a country. But 
we speak almost the same Mongolian language, um, I mean, we can understand each other very well um, based on my experience. But uh, the difference, a little bit difference, is um, for Inner Mongolians or Inner Mongols, um, we add a little bit Chinese into our dialogue, you know, into our conversation. And for the people from Mongolia, they add some Russian or English words into their dialogue, into their conversation. When it comes to words, um, words in Inner Mongolia are written vertically, which is derived from the old Uyghur alphabet. However, in Mongolia, the words are written in Cyrillic alphabet or Russian alphabet, if you like. Um, I guess the uh, traditional Mongolian writing in Inner Mongolia is the only one which is written vertically in this whole wide world. Okay, so here is one last thing you may be interested in, or I mean you may want to ask me or yourself, why would I want to visit Inner Mongolia? Um, Inner Mongolia is specialized in, or symbolized, let's say symbolized by its vast grasslands and its nomadic life, because there are a lot of Mongols, nay Mongols, uh, living in here. Um, their Mongolian life, Mongolian nomadic life, is attractive. Um, I mean, it's an attraction. And if you ever want to visit Inner Mongolia, I strongly recommend you to visit some local people's home to experience the traditional Mongolian nomadic life by yourself. Um, you know, just feel free to visit them. It's fine. We Mongols are really chill, you know, very easy to get along with. We're warm hearted, you know, just feel free to visit one of the local families. Uh, why would I want to say this is because the other day uh, when I was hanging out with one of my friends, she told me that her relatives from Taiwan, they came here to just, you know, to visit or to experience the traditional Mongolian nomadic life and they went to a tourism, um, watched Mongolian Nadam or Mongolian wrestling and stuff, held by a bunch of non-Mongolian guys. I mean, um, just think about it, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's fine, but, you know, they just came here to experience the traditional Mongolian life and watched a group of non-Mongolian guys did that. It's, um, I mean, it's fine, but it's hilarious and um, annoying at the same time, you know. They're not, they're just, you know, like, they just want to, they, they just want to, sorry, they just want to make money off of you. They don't give a shit about our culture. Uh, they don't give a shit about our tradition, you know. They just want to make money. Money is everything. Um, so, again, I, if you ever want to uh, visit Inner Mongolia, the grasslands, you know, the Mongolian tradition, uh, the Mongolian life, I strongly recommend you to visit the local family to, you know, figure it out by yourself. Um, and that's it, I guess. Um, if you have any questions about the nomadic life or about Inner Mongolia, feel free to ask me or feel free to comment below. And just like I said, I'm gonna give a brief conclusion about this video in Chinese. So, how, um, 大家好. Oh, 第一次用中文做有一点紧张我在视频里提到呢就是在一开始我做了一个简短的自我介绍然后我有提到蒙古国跟内蒙古的一些区别那大体上我们说的蒙语蒙古语其实是差不多一样的只不过我们内蒙人
我是蒙古族的时候，他们都会说，哼、哦，那你来自蒙古国喽。然后我还得给他们再一遍一遍的解释，我不是蒙古国人，但是我是蒙古人，我来自内蒙古，我是中国人，但是我会说蒙古语，呃，我也会说中文，我们是双语言者，但是呃，内蒙古的蒙古人，他们也在过蒙古生活之类的，就是要解释很多遍。然后还有一点就是，如果大家想来内蒙古游玩。大家可以去当地的牧民家去体验一下，就是传统的，呃，蒙古族游牧生活或者是游牧的习俗。如果，呃，你有兴趣的话，因为我有一个朋友跟我说，就是他的一些亲戚，他们来自台湾，呃，十月份吧，他们来这儿只为了看蒙古族的传统，呃，就是习俗或者是，呃，生活方式，传统的生活方式。然后他们被带去了一个旅游基地，然后看参加了纳达木，在十月份，然后看了一些人摔跤之类的，然后举办这些的人呢，一不是本地人，二也不是蒙古族人，然后我就觉得又很好笑又很可气，因为就是当然也可以，但是有一部分人他脑子里只有钱，他们只想赚你的钱，他不会尊重这个文化，他也不会在意这个文化，你做出去这个就是。因为他们是在代表这个文化，你做这个行为的时候，他不会在意这个行为会带给这些游客什么样的负面影响。然后大家可能就是，我有时候也会听到一些负面的评论，对于蒙古族。然后我就觉得，像这种行为，它就是也可以就是不必要的。然后大家可以去体验一下，就是当地牧民家的一些游牧生活。嗯，然后应该是差不多就这些了，然后谢谢大家。And last but not least, thank you for watching. Bye. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, Steph.